What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple continues to throw us off with their unpredictability lately and they just released iOS 11 beta 2 update 1 for select devices along with the public beta of iOS 11. So let's first talk about the iOS 11 beta 2 update 1 which came out for these select devices. The iPad Air, the iPad Air 2, the iPad mini 2 through 4, the iPad 5, iPad Pro first generation, iPhone 5S, 6, 6 Plus and SE. So no 6S, no 6S Plus and no iPhone 7, no 7 Plus. And the build number for this new beta 2 update 1 is 15A5304J as opposed to 15A 5304i, which is what iOS 11 beta 2 was. Now, the only thing that's changed in this new revised iOS 11 beta 2 is the downgrade bug, which everybody has pretty much heard of by now if you've been following me on Twitter and watched my recent videos. But if you tried to go from iOS 11 beta 2 down to iOS 10.3.x, you would get stuck in recovery mode and not be able to downgrade. So Apple has fixed that for these select devices, but I'm still very confused as to how they have not fixed this for the iPhone 7 and the 6s. Because as you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter, I tried everything to go from iOS 11 beta 2 on this iPhone 7 here down to 10.3.3, down to 10.3.2, and 10.3.1, and I could not downgrade without going back to beta 1 first. So I'm not sure why Apple would only fix it on these devices. I guess they just think that it's going to be a higher probability to run into that issue if you have one of these devices. But I mean, I've heard multiple people say how they have issues on the iPhone 7 and the 6S. And just a couple hours after Apple pushed iOS 11 beta 2 update 1 for those select devices, they just recently, within the past five minutes, released the first public beta of iOS 11. So if you are in the public beta program, you can go ahead and download iOS 11 beta 1, iOS 11 public beta 1. So if you have an iPhone 7, a 7 Plus, a 6S, or a 6S Plus, and you're part of this beta program, I would probably hold off for just a little bit until you see if anybody runs into any issues because you may not be able to downgrade back to 10.3.x after you install this new public beta of iOS 11. So it's pretty odd how Apple would do that with this downgrade issue going on but you know it's not confirmed to be working it's not confirmed to be an issue with the public beta however again if it is the same build number you're going to have that same issue so you can check the pinned comment on this video the very first comment on this video i'm going to be updating that telling you guys you know letting you guys know what people are running into any kind of issues with public beta one if they're having the downgrade issue on the 6s and the 7. now of course if you don't have a 6s or a 7 you should be fine going to the first public beta of ios 11. You should not have any issues if you wanted to downgrade back to 10.3.x anyways guys that's it for this video i just want to bring you this quick update video on what apple has been doing today very odd schedule um you know ios 11 beta 2 update 1 very odd type of release there and then to release the public beta with the downgrade issue still happening for the iPhone 7 and the 6S is just kind of odd, but I wanted to bring you guys this update video just to let you know everything new that's going on with Apple and iOS. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.